Hi, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. I am at home. This is first video with the coronavirus. We're all been told to work from home, so that's what I'm doing. That's why you get my lovely garage in the back of me. Um, but today I'm going to talk about what is a declaratory judgment. A declaratory judgment. Um, first, I want to say, if you have any questions what you're going to hear today, you want to talk about your business, or you think you have a potential case, all you have to do is go to jdelaw.nyc slash consult. That's jdelaw.nyc slash consult. And you can book a 10-minute phone and 30-minute in-person consultation with me there. Though, of course, due to the coronavirus, it's only going to be in a, um, phone consultations for the time being. But what is a declaratory judgment? So we all know if you sue someone in court, you can ask for money. And that's what 99% of the cases probably do. I slipped. I fell. I, I deserve this amount of money. That kind of stuff. Someone broke my contract. I deserve this amount of money. But something else that you can ask for in courts is called a declaratory judgment. And that means you're asking the court to direct something, okay, to order something. You know, order the old guy to stay off his lawn, you know, something along those lines. But they can order something, and you, that's what you ask for. And the reason I'm thinking about this is I have a feeling with the whole coronavirus thing, that there's going to be a lot of insurance claims, whether it's unemployed insurance, business interruption insurance, something along those lines. There's going to be a lot of insurance claims. And what are insurance companies really good at? They're good at denying your claims. Well, especially for businesses, but in general, you can bring a declaratory judgment action to make them fulfill the terms in their insurance policy if you think that they denied you an error. So the way this works a lot is in slip and fall cases. A business has insurance, someone slipped and fell on their property, and the insurance company denied it. Well then, a lot of times businesses bring a declaratory judgment action to force the insurance company to cover the claim. All right, so that is, that is what a declaratory judgment is. That's what businesses use it for, is to say, hey, you're supposed to cover me. I didn't do anything wrong. Here are the terms of the contract. Now cover me. Okay, and that is something businesses end up doing, not a lot, but I would say frequently enough. I've had to bring at least a half a dozen in the last year on behalf of some businesses, you know, and a lot of times they do show up. You know, they either decide it's not worth it to fight the declaratory judgment action and they come into the other lawsuit that's usually involved. There we go. So if you can see me there for a second, someone tried to call in. Not the best timing. But I'm just going to wrap this up with, again, a declaratory judgment action is when you ask the judge to direct something. So for example, in the business interruption insurance, you're asking the court to say, according to this insurance policy, you have to come in and defend this company. Okay, so that's how it really works. And like I said, I've done about a half a dozen last year. These are frequent, um, I say frequent, but not common, right? I'm not filing one every week, but I do have to file a few a year. All right, so if you have any questions about what you heard today, especially if, if you're not getting your coronavirus business interruption insurance, something along those lines, you want to discuss a potential case or just want to talk about your business, all you have to do is go to jdelaw.nyc slash consult. That's jdelaw.nyc slash consult. And you can book that 10-minute phone or 30-minute in-person consultation with me. Once again, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Thanks for watching and listening.